Welcome guys, this is another episode of Digit Gadget Show. So today we'll be introducing to you Google Glass, the newest gadget in town. So today with me is Amalan Dhananjan, who is a software engineer at Exilesoft and he's been working with this for quite some time now. So he'll explain what Google Glass is and what it does. And also we have Gopi Haran here, who's our tech enthusiast at Digit. He has prepared a quite a number of questions regarding Google Glass and what it does. So, uh, if I introduce Amalan to you, he's a student, uh, he's a graduate of SLIT, passed out in 2013. Yes. And uh, he has worked with Google Glass for the last four months, I guess. Yes. So, Amalan, uh, let uh, introduce yourself to the readers out there. Uh, I'm Amalan Danajan from Excitesoft. I joined Excitesoft some months ago and working on a Google Glass project for the last four months. That's about uh, after two months after Google Glass has been released. And uh, what, what is Excelsoft as a company and what are the special specialities that people should look forward to that? Okay, uh, when we say Excelsoft, uh, everything agile. So it's like we follow uh, agile methodology, uh, which I have to mention especially is like uh, and this Google Glass project is a uh, uh, research and development project, so it's like it really helped us. It's like uh, as this uh, research and development, like nobody has ever done this programming before. That so that like every we have Scrum, so that we can clear our doubts, we can uh, consult with our clients, or so some changes and all those stuff. So it's like this is something that uh, really helped us. So like excited soft we are like following the agile methodology. Mm -hmm. So and excited soft uh, has its branch on. Um, uh, Norway, uh, Sweden, uh, Australia, uh, two places in Australia, Melbourne and uh, Sydney, and also in Singapore. So, and our main branch is in Colombo, so here we uh, develop all those, uh, all the softwares. So, that's a small history of our company. Okay, what is Google Glass? Uh, when you say Google Glass, it's a wearable technology, Google's latest wearable technology. But when you say we are wearable technology, people will be thinking about Google Watch and all those gadgets. But this is really a different one. It's like it brings everything in front of your eyes. But I must say that uh, Google Glass is not a replacement of a phone. Just like Android phone or something. It's like it's not a smartphone at all. Basically, it is designed, its main intention is to give you notifications on a timely purpose without alerting you or something like that. It's like a, it's like a basically a notification tool. It's not a hard working tool or something like that, not to play games or something. I don't say that it is not used to uh, develop games or something, but it is a basically a notification tool. Okay. So we can call it a distraction free notification tool. Uh, yeah, uh, you can say like that also, but that's the main purpose of this class. And after that, you know, like uh, this Google class is like an experiment from Google. So current version is called the Explore Edition. <laughs> So tell us about the cloud. Is will it be the final design, or will it have the same features? The final version also have, have the same features as this. Uh, yeah, as you say, it's the Explore Edition. So this is the uh, fifth update we got uh, on this eighth. So it's like every month on eighth we get updates. So it's like the software eight. update. You mean. Uh, yeah. So with new features enabled and all those stuff. So now currently it's running XC10 developer. It's like Explore Edition 10 version. So it's like, uh, this is not the final version, they are experimenting a lot and they are releasing on lots of features like recently they have released YouTube uh, streaming and all those stuff so it's like, it's really battery consuming so now the people are thinking about, uh, like Google is thinking about in improving the battery so the actual uh, battery life they guaranteed was one day but it was not like that it's like when you start videoing it won't uh, even last for one and a half an hour so like we need more battery for more of these things. So for those kind of things, they are doing some changes. 
and they have some control. So now, now what we I can do is only uh, take it out, so we, I can see this side or something like this. But we don't, I don't have this side it's like up and down. Mm -hmm. So in future they are planning that one also. So I'm gonna while we are talking at that point, like uh, you are one of the very few lucky people in the world to. I mean, use the Google Glass for the first time itself before you yeah. even get ready. So now, tell us about the hardware specifications of the device. Uh, hardware is like, uh, I really forgot most of things, but it's like, it's running a 1.2 GHz dual core processor with 1 GB RAM, and it has an uh, internal memory of 16 GB, where 14 GB is usable, and uh, it has a 5 megapixel camera, which is uh, capable of uh, taking 720p video. Okay. You can see that uh, I took a video from office to Royal College. Uh, you can see it in the YouTube. Okay. So there was Sri Lankan YouTube, uh, I mean Google Glass video or something. And it has also got some sensors like the trackpad as well. Uh, as yeah, it's like the normal uh, Android phone. It has uh, uh, accelerometer. Okay. So it's like it, it can detect uh, head movement. Okay. So left and right movement. And it has a uh, proximity sensor. So you can, there are some features inside that we can control like if so if, if, you, if, you take it out, if, if you take it out, yeah. now everything is, so where are the all the accelerometers and... Uh, all are inside this thing, this okay, black box, okay. this is a circuit board and all these things are there. Now if our viewers can see, it is this particular area, Yeah, right? that's the okay. So that's the whole, uh, you can see the whole uh, circuit board uh, processor and everything is there. Uh -huh. And if you see uh, in this place, there's a proximity sensor and the speaker. Oh, okay. Not the speaker, actually a uh, proximity sensor uh, uh, and the mic, sorry. Okay. And here you can see this is the bone, con uh, bone conductor inducer. Oh, that, that's, that's interesting. What is that? Uh, it's like uh, instead of using uh, speakers, like uh, speakers normally use uh, a magnetic wave. So that will be a problem for the uh, human body, so okay. especially near the brain. So what they have done was, they have replaced it with a bone conductor inducer. So what it does was, is it has a motor, so it's like, uh, it vibrates. So it won't be, there won't be any magnetic field, or instead there, there will be only a vibration. So the user can hear it well. Also, sometimes the nearest person can uh, hear something. So also the reason. main glass component in the whole Google Glass is the prism we hear. Uh, yeah, inside this glass there is a prism, so okay. it's like, uh, it actually uh, it's like a project, uh, it projects there and ah, okay. it's got a project inside our glass. So that's the prism, you know the prism is that uh, triangular thing that reflects the light. Okay, now we know what Google Glass is and what it does mainly and the limitations it has. Yeah, we have now talked about the hardware. So hardware. Like, uh, yeah, now let's move on to the software aspect, the development of Google Glass and yeah, sure. the, the future it holds. Now, uh, as a developer, mm -hmm. now, if I say, if I ask you the question, what is the future you see with Google Glass? Mm -hmm. How can you give me a brief answer, if you, if it's possible? Uh, it's like uh, it will be uh, uh, popular anyway. So it's like um, even now the people have started like Google. It's like I, I think that uh, Google has planned this as a, a marketing, marketing campaign as releasing the glass earlier. So in the future it will be uh, popular, there's no doubt. So in the programming uh, uh, wise, if you think, uh, the operating system running inside the glass is basically Android. So they call it 4.0.4. It's like a basic uh, updated version of ICS. And uh, it's like uh, you can normally, if you are an Android programmer, you can uh, use normally programming. Uh, only restriction is that uh, they are using, some of the libraries are different, like camera, uh, uh, libraries like you don't have autofocus or some other features uh, but normal uh, camera programming will be do so something like that uh, you can if you're an android programmer there won't be any problems and also you can approach it in another way it's like uh, c to dm cloud to device messaging system of google so it's like we are doing a server side program so basically we'll be uh, developing a site so here we call it call it uh, glassware just like software is called Glassware. So it's basically, don't worry, it's, it's basically a web server. So it uses Mira API, uh, specially designed by Google. So using that, it will be sending some uh, JSON related data to the Glass, to the Google server, and Google server will be pushing it, just like the notification that come on the Google uh, for Android phone. 
uh, you have uh, told us that this is not the final version and the final design or the consumer edition will be totally different from this one. But uh, since you have used it for some time, on an end user perspective, can you tell us uh, what are the regular features one can use here, like, like taking pictures or videos and navigation? Just tell us how well okay. you can make uh, use it to make calls and stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. So it's like, uh, as a end user, it's like, at first it's like uh, the nuisance, it's like, uh, it's like, it really blocks the view. It's like, it's, it's not a, uh, it's blocking the view, but it's like, there's a burden on the view or something like that. It, it there's something not comfortable. But uh, on the daily use, uh, daily, uh, after using daily, it's like, uh, I get, got used to it. And the only uh, good thing that I use this for is to take pictures, uh, record video, and to see the time. That's the main purpose I used it. But uh, most of the features are enabled when you pair it with the phone. So with Bluetooth pairing, you can uh, pair it with the phone and you can use uh, phone's GPS and all those stuff. It's like, you know that uh, Google Glass does not have all those GPS and uh, what do you say, uh, temperature meters and uh, barometer and all those stuff. So but by pairing, you can use all those features. But still, there are no uh, extra applications, but uh, in excess of we have built something so that we can use a phone's uh, sensors but as for now uh, that can be uh, demoed here but uh, normally some features are accessing uh, normal phones uh, lots of sensors through the bluetooth so those kind of things can be uh, the other things that so if i am not mistaken apart from bluetooth you can also connect it through the wi-fi is it uh, so no you know, only bluetooth uh, only bluetooth so you can pair it to the phone uh, yeah so when you give commands to the Google Glass, so how does it perform the internet? I mean, how does it get connected to the internet? It's called uh, Glass Companion. Okay. So it's like if you have registered your Glass, it will say that uh, it is uh, compatible with your device. If not, it says it's not compatible, but you can uh, download it otherwise. So when searching for APK, you can find it. You can just try it out. But it's like uh, it's like this, it's like all the settings are not inside the Glass. Authentication and all those other stuffs are done on the website. So uh, it's like www.google.com slash myglass. So there, there's a process that goes up to a QR code uh, verification where you have to uh, use your glass to see that QR code and to register your glass. So after that, it uh, connects with your Google uh, account, and when you go to the Play Store, you can download that application. So same, it's like uh, basically that site is a uh, settings page for you. You can, uh, it's like Installing appli uh, application on your phone, here we say subscribe to the application because we are subscribing to the glassware, basically uh, web servers. So there we can off and on what are the updates we want. You say we have subscribed to the uh, Twitter, so we get all the tweets and you say that it's nuisance, we can go there and off it. We cannot do that in the glass. We have to use it on the website. All the same can be done using that My Companion application on the phone. So also uh, the latest update of the My Companion uh, will work as a remote control for the glass. And uh, can you just show us like how would you take a picture with the Google Glass? Yeah, sure. Uh, now it's sleep, so I have to wake it up. So okay. there are some ankle that we can set. So uh, I can shake my head to wake it up. Okay, glass, take a picture. So that's how uh, I take a picture. Okay. So uh, that is uh, easily done. So it's like so. Once you take the picture, like, uh, do we have any other third party apps where you can share it? Or? Uh, as for now, even though we have many other uh, third party applications like Twitter and Facebook, only Google Plus is allowed to share. Okay. And in that this side, we have uh, developed our own server where we can uh, develop it, uh, we can share it. But officially, Google Plus is the only one that we can share our application. So that may be, I think, because it's still an uh, explore edition. Uh, yeah, and maybe it. sometimes uh, Evernote may also have that uh, privilege, but uh, we have never tried it out okay. here. So as you say, like uh, we can see uh, different third-party service providers are now building apps for Google Plus, yes. but uh, we can't say how it will function until we get the consumer edition, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And so, like since you have used this for some time as an end user. Just tell us like, how comfortable are you with the glass, and how do you see it, uh, like uh, two years after from I mean two years from today, once the consumer version arrives, like how do you see that people will adapt to this glass? Will it be comfortable uh, with people? Or? No, it's still it's like uh, even though the 
Radio version, it was like a, it's a bulky one, but it's not for the consumers, but they have made it, redesigned it and have turned it to a normal disc, this kind of class today. But still, it's an, uh, it's kind of a, uh, not comfortable, and hopefully they may be changing some metal or the plastic version or something so that they can make it lighter, and they can do some, uh, you know, uh, solar powered or something like that to replace a heavier battery and those kind of things. And maybe uh, we can expect something uh, uh, good in the future for the glass. And Amalema, you also said that since this is a prototype and still this is, uh, as Gopi said, uh, still an exploration, right? Mm -hmm. It's really expensive. Uh, yes. So for the normal use, it might take a little, yeah, little uh, bit of time. Yeah, if I'm mistaken, like uh, Google is selling this one, the exploration itself for like thousand five hundred dollars officially. Expensive. So it's not uh, something yeah. that everyone can afford it. Mm -hmm. So as we can see, like uh, this is a new kind of a wearable technology which which has a very great future, I guess. Yeah. Like uh, because it's, uh, it's uh, yeah. Forget about the price. Okay. For the normal user. Yeah. Can you guess? You mean the value? Value or when would the normal end user would get this in your hand in their hands? Uh, Based on the API success that they have and the development. It's like uh, soon after they launch it, uh, however, there will be a lot of people to buy it, just to try it or just to, uh, just for the fun of it. But uh, to say that to reach the whole world, uh, it will take some time uh, based on the Glassware developers and uh, native developers. So it's like it's up to the developers' uh, performance and how Google supports them. Uh, it will reach a large market, but sure, when it launches soon, soon after its launch, it will reach a really a great audience. Now, you guys <coughs> are one of the pioneers in developing this in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Now, what what do you say for the developers out there, right, mm -hmm. who are willing to invest their talent and to explore the uncharted territories with these APIs and everything that they have? Yeah. Okay. What, what would you say to them? How to actually set foot and start developing on the Google Glass? Okay, uh, first of all, it's like uh, uh, Glassware applications that uh, demo versions are available in the GitHub. You can just go and download it and just uh, get some, uh, just like, uh, in my blog I have written how to bring Google Glass inside your Android phone. So using that, you can actually fake it like you can fake that you have Google Glass and you can uh, register inside the Google and there after that you can get the key and you can just uh, run the Glassware application and you can just test those uh, Glassware cards coming inside your phone. Oh, the Android phone itself. Yeah, inside, it's like this will work like a uh, normal uh, Glass. glass. So but the only, the only negative thing is that you can test the native Android apps but uh, actually Google is encouraging the, uh, what do you say, the Glass wears, um, so it's better. It's like if you can uh, run a, a Google Glass inside your phone, it it just works like a, a launcher, a different launcher, uh, just like Apex or normal launcher. It will just work like a launcher. So even you you can say okay, Glass, uh, take a picture. But uh, what we have done was uh, earlier uh, earlier when we did not have that glass, we used our own phone and there is no emulator, so it's like we created our own. So that's how we. <coughs> Uh, uh, tested out this thing. Now say, a developer who is interested in uh, creating an app for Google Glass, but he doesn't have a Google, Google Glass to work with, but he does have a smartphone, an Android powered smartphone, mm -hmm. so what he, he should do? Uh, he can, if he, if he is an Android developer, he can, uh, the Android development is enough, mm -hmm. but if you want to try out uh, Glassware development, uh, he can find free codes on the GitHub, hosted mm -hmm. by the, the same team that uh, is working on the Google Glass. Okay. So even uh, if you have any questions, if you ask it in the uh, Stack Overflow, they come, they directly answer. Mm -hmm. So that will be helpful. And another thing is that if you, that is like why I said Glassware is that uh, you can install uh, Google Glass inside your phone, just like another launcher. Uh, for that, you can uh, just uh, go to my blog www.pathofaudio.com. I think you can see the link uh, below. Uh, so it's like. Uh, yeah, I have mentioned that yeah, I have inso, uh, inserted all the APKs needed and instructions. So you can just follow it and you can install the Google Glass inside your phone. So you can just uh, push your push those cards from your server to your uh, account in the uh, phone. So it works just like a, a 
gold glass. So you don't have to wait uh, uh, till the glass comes out. So that that's actually great news for that's all right. the all the developers out there. Yeah. Now uh, it's time for the demo that you have prepared for us. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, sure. So uh, we'll see how we can take a photo. So uh, when we when I say okay glass. Uh, you can see a list of commands that uh, that is available. So when I say take a picture, it takes a picture. So this is how the taking picture works. So there are the commands also that you saw in the list. So uh, here I'll be showing the uh, um, dashboard of the Google Glass settings. So it will be uh, you know the normal uh, Google.com slash my glass. So I have already registered in. So you can see. Uh, this kind of a view. So uh, this is the normal okay, uh, the da dashboard uh, we have in the Google Glass. Mm -hmm. So here it normally shows you the uh, location. So this is our address. Mm -hmm. So we are here. So here these are some context that I have added from the Google uh, my G plus. So this actually uh, th those are some uh, dummy guys from for these dummy things. So here you can see that I have off all these features. I mean feeds. So here I can on this. Uh, Google, so I can share it uh, on the Google now. So this is how uh, the dashboard works. So <coughs> back to the glass. So here we can uh, see um, how we are gonna share the photo that we took now. So press once, and you get the share, and there you can uh, go through uh, where you want to share it. So I'll be uh, pressing uh, Google Plus uh, Plus Group, so it's gonna share. It. And that's it. Uh, it has shared. So this is how the sharing works. So now, if you go to the Google Plus account, you can see that photo uh, in the. So you can see that uh, it has been published here. So this is how the sharing works. And uh, one more thing is, uh, again, you show you an app that's uh, basically an uh, Android app, a native app built on uh, uh, built on Android. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll be demoing uh, you now about the uh, timeline. So you, you can see how the photos that we have taken now has been like like swiping forward. We'll be getting you the old photos and old videos and all those stuff. So this is how the uh, uh, digit guys have prepared for the session. So this is how the timeline. So if I swipe faster, you can see it's like you can see a long uh, range of uh, cards there. So and finally, uh, this is settings. So here in the settings, you can set uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, this about the information. You can see wake up angle. So I can look up and just open the uh, wake up the glass and all those stuff. So volume settings and all those stuff. So this is all about the Google Glass. Thank you. So now we have had an interesting session with Amalan, and he has actually showed us how the Google glass thing actually works with, uh, I mean, as an end user perspective as well as a developer perspective, he has given us very good examples and uh, from his uh, introduction we can clearly see this is going to be an interesting, uh, I mean, technology to exactly. look forward in the future also. So, uh, I think it's time for us to wrap up. Yeah, sure. Okay guys, it's uh, finally the time has come to wrap the show for today, this special edition of uh, Digit Gadget Show. And uh, we have to actually thank uh, Amalan and Excitesoft for having us here and going through what you have done and what Google Plus is to explaining that. It was actually huge help for all the readers of Digit out there. Uh, and you're welcome and uh, it's a great opportunity to share the knowledge and hope you get more information uh, from this edition and also from blogging other other awareness. So happy coding guys and uh, happy user experience for the normal users. Great, and also a big thank goes out to Gopia as well, our resident tech guru. And uh, with that, we'll meet you in another segment of Digit Gadget Show.